guys, welcome back to my channel. So, ooh, I, funky Dineva chair. I, mm, you laid it on, um, the Zeus CEO. So, Lumel Palmer, who is the CEO of Zeus, was getting interviewed on Fox Soul with Funky Dineva and, uh, Claudia Joy. Claudia! And the other host, because I don't know who that is, really. Anyways, um, he was bringing the fact that they felt like Zeus is a trash network and the CEO's not trash to be on the platform. And let's be real, Zeus has had a lot of trash uh, shows on there, but you got to think about reality TV as a whole. VH1, bravo. MTV all had reality shows that were trash, but with a big backing behind them, they were allowed to do certain things that allowed certain not to happen. But with Zeus having no sponsors behind, they have more leeway to do shit. But I'm gonna let the CEO tell you how he feels about fucking Aniva's commentary. So check this out. I am very proud of the fact that we got a black brother that has built a network that and, it, and it's profitable and he's getting shine. But to be quite frankly, brother, you built your network on trash. You built your network on trash and you set our culture, as far as I'm concerned, with all those pieces of programming, you set us backwards. So maybe this is the chain of events needed for Zeus to take a small shift in direction. So that being said, let me, uh, how did you <laughs> feel seeing that clip? Because I'm sure everybody sent it to you. And um, what's your rebuttal to that? I really didn't feel anything. I okay. mean, look, you're entitled to your opinion. I don't agree with you at all. You know, our customers don't enjoy garbage. Um, I don't agree. You know, this specific show, your show is called TGIF, T. You're, you're, you're talking about, I just watched your segment, right? You guys talked about Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. You, you're not, you're talking about negativity all day, right? Negative news. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Plummer, we, you know, obviously, how convenient of you, you cherry picked one example of one particular segment. This show, we co cover a vast array of topics, both intellectual and garbage. I mean, it is a gossip sure. show. You, on the other hand, I took what is a gossip moment. Mean? I, hold what on, is hold gossip? on. I'll let you finish, so let me finish. First. I took a minute to go through all of your programming on your show, right? Because I didn't even know that you had all of the programming that you did on your platform. And congratulations. But I find it odd that in your speech, you use the word intellect, right? Or intelligent. Our viewers are intelligent. And I'm not doubting that. But of all of your shows that get Zeus the most ratings, you've got Baddies, you've got Jocelyn's Cabaret, uh, Boys, Los Angeles, you had Black China, you had One More Chance. I, I'd like to think that those are your most popular shows. You can't sit here and pretend like there is not a reverberating theme that goes throughout all of those shows. And it is extreme fighting and violence that surpasses what we see on normal cable. And it seems to be Large that part. that is of your success. That's low hanging fruit, in my opinion. I could go out right now with the camera, throw water on homeless people, make a show out of it, and it would skyrocket. Doesn't mean it's right. You're, you're, you're completely wrong. You don't own a network. You're not a CEO of a network and you're not, you know, you're, you're not in my position. So I respect what you're saying. However, I don't agree with you. I don't think our audience is trash. I, I, I do think that the customers are intelligent enough to understand, again, like I said, what they're consuming. They're, they understand. You're, you're, you're basically saying the audience is stupid. Right? No, you're, I'm not saying the no, audience I mean, I mean, you're, I'm We saying... have a ton of we have a, we have a ton of subscribers. Right. They understand what they're consuming. You know, you know what I'm saying? And so I think. When you actually watch the shows, you meant you reference Black China, you reference Bad Boys LA, you went reference Jocelyn, you reference Patty. I mean, there's a lot of other storylines. It's a, it's a, it's a, it, 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 it has multiple components. You know. Well. <laughs> so we had two perspectives. Under the pretenses of Funky Dineva, call it a trash network. I mean, let's be real. We don't watch. Bad Girls Club or Love and Hip Hop or uh, Black Ink Crew or Real Housewives, the French as a whole, for what it's supposed to give. We were looking for them shows to give us a little bit of kiki, a little bit of fighting, a little bit of drama, you know, anything to keep us engaged. If the shows were all kumbaya based, bitch, you would watch the motherfucking shows. We all know that to be true. OK, so for Funky to say that his whole platform is full of trash is bullshit. And Funky, you have to be a little humble. You are a 
YouTuber who does commentary interviews on shows and, you know, celebrity gossip as well as on a TV show as a commentator. Regardless, you also be engaged in the bullshit when you watch these shows. Um, sir, you can't really contradict like that. However, from the CEO of Zeus, I agree with him too. As a consumer, when you pay that four ninety nine. You know you come to watch the bullshit. Jocelyn, TV Gold, ghetto as hell. God bitches suing her. Uh, Black China, we saw the epitome of her and Tokyo Toy relationship, which is what? Trash. Um, Bad Boys LA, what we see with that? Trash. Um, Jonathan hitting niggas with chairs. Durrell, you know, cause people out getting in fights. Malaka, everything, he's Mrs. Sister Girl. And Miss Andrew Caldwell, Mrs. Delivered was being used for the damn um promo couldn't even stay on the show because he didn't want to be shown out to be gay but calling it trash based off of the people on it is not trash in quotations if anything again comedian gold you pay that 49 to see hoes fight and that's on period and in my mind that's a win for me whether you like it or not it's a win so you can look at it from either side i really don't give a fuck but because you know, it it was a good conversation to see. I would say go watch the full interview. I'm not going to motherfucking watch it. But I'll give you what you need to see. And that's on period. Okay? So, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you feel in the comments. Roll to 1K subscribers. And I will see you next time. Peace and go. Get you some IBS customs. Okay? Okay.